Hello and welcome back to SJJ's Ultimate Channel. Today we will be having another look at we will ha be having another Hurricane Ian update, as you can see right here, number two. So yeah, that just went through the eye of So yeah. Let's jump right in straight into things. Oh by the way, leave a like on this video, please. And please subscribe. Um, from Hurricane Ian Update 1, I was so grateful of all the people that actually subscribed to my channel afterwards. So, if you haven't subscribed already, could you please consider, you can always change your mind if you want to, but could you please consider subscribing? Thanks, that means a lot to me. So yeah, we're going to jump straight into things. And I also want to show you guys something. Oh, and by the way, we I'm sorry, but I also forgot to, you know, so you guys the hourglass at the end last time. So yeah, I'm sorry, but yeah. So I managed to save it. Here's how much time was left. Wow, look at that. So this is the side that was on the bottom. I don't know, barely any. So wow. And then also, what we're gonna do is So yeah, you see, um, hold on. You see this? It'll be on for a second. Okay. See this? This um, is a weather. This is a weather monitor. It has outdoor temp, indoor temp, rain, wind, time, um, for, forecast. I'm sorry, forecast. So yeah, I'm going to keep you guys updated on this during Hurricane Ian because this will show how much rain we get and this will show the wind. So yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that because. I just wanted to tell you guys that I will be updating you on the wind and rain that will be happening during Hurricane Ian. So you will be updated. So yeah. Don't worry, I'll tell you everything about it. So yeah, let's go to the weather channel. So, we are in the weather channel. Let's head to the radar. As you can see, we're still in the hurricane's path. Let's zoom out a little. As you can see, oh, there, there's the hurricane. That loaded a lot faster than last time. As you can see, the hurricane is now a Category 2. Let's do future radar. Sorry, this thing's a little laggy right now. Why is this thing so laggy today? Weird. So, that's the end of the future radar. Let's pause it. Okay, so, as you can see, we're still in the direct hurricane's path. It's actually expanded a little, so now it it's up to South Carolina, actually. So, yeah, as you can see, as you can see, the hurricane is actually a Category 2 now, because last time we tuned in, it was a tropical storm. So yeah, let's zoom out a little. So yeah, that's where the hurricane is. So yeah, as you can see, once again, it's category two, and then look, it expands. Category three hits Cuba. Category four, right there's where it's hardest. Another category, stay category four, stays category four, hits category three. That's where right, that's right where we are. Then drops down to category one, and then tropical storm, and then. And then it, uh, whoops. Now it's time for... So yeah, as you can see from the text right there, tips to help you with the hurricane. Let's go. So yeah, let's jump straight into it. We're gonna, I'm gonna have a checklist and I'm just gonna help you prepare. Okay, so we have a list right here. Five things. One, two, three, four, five. Number one, prepare. So that means, like, prepare all your stuff. Like, if you have a pool, drain it. If you have, like, outside things, like, I don't know, a treehouse, like, wrap it up in one piece of string so then none of the boards come loose or something like that. Those stuff. Number two. Protect. Protect all your things in your house. That means if you think your house is going to be flooded, put your important stuff on high places and all that stuff. 
Number three, stock or stock up. So stock up on water, food, flashlights, candles, fans, because the AC is probably going to be out. All, five, all those five things are the necessities. You can buy other things. I don't know what you want. So, yeah. Number four is if you live in zone A on the coast, evacuate. That means go in main, go into the mainland of Florida. If because if you're on the coast, it is a much higher chance that your house will be flooded and everything will be destroyed. And last one, number five, just be ready. Just be ready for the hurricane. You're gonna have to brace yourself for the impact because this hurricane is going to be bad. So yeah, that's all the advice I can give you today. So. Tips to help you with the hurricane, out. So yeah, that's all I got for today. I really am really th grateful and thankful for you for taking your time to listen to me. I really hope these tips help you. And yeah, catch you in the next one. See you. And don't forget, if you subscribe, it makes my dog happy. And once again, I am so grateful and so thankful of all the people that decide to subscribe. And when I mean all the people, I mean five people. So for those five people, thank you so much for subscribing. It means a lot to me. And if you haven't, if you aren't subscribed and you watch my videos, please consider subscribing. It would really make, it would just really be helpful for me. And it would just make me feel really happy. And so just thank you to those five people who subscribed. And I'll catch you in the next one. Bye. Oh yeah, and don't forget, the five tips. Here's how you can remember it. P-P-S-I-J.